In this video, I want to introduce proving trigonometric identities. So you will have seen some of this when you were studying core two. Okay? But now we're going to have to deal with trig identities that involve not just sine, cos, and tan, but also sec, cosec, or cot. So we're going to need to have the identities at the ready. Now, how do you show, for example, that tan x over 1 plus tan squared is equal to sine x cos x? Well, you've actually got three ways of doing this, of proving a trigonometric identity. The first way is to show that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So what I'm saying there is you start with the left-hand side and through a logical deduction, you show that you can get to the right-hand side. Or you start with the right-hand side and by logical deduction, get yourself to the left-hand side. So by logical deduction here, I mean that you are working with, say, tan x over 1 plus tan squared and you adapt it and use your algebraic knowledge and your trig knowledge to get it into looking like that, into that format. So you can either work from the left-hand side to the right-hand side or the right-hand side to the left-hand side. The third option is to work with both sides simultaneously. Okay, And then what you want to do is you want to get to precisely the same thing on both sides. So we work with the left-hand side, get it down to a bit, and then we work with the right-hand side, get it down to a bit, and then what we find is these two things here are the same. Now, if you can do it by either of the first two methods, these two methods, then by all rights that is better, okay, than working with both sides at the same time. But Really, what I must make sure that we don't do is we don't want to work with both sides by throwing things over both sides of the equal sign. Okay, So we don't want to move anything to either side. I don't want to multiply both sides by 1 plus tan squared. The reason why we can't do that is because we need to prove that this is true. And if I start with that, that they are equal to one another, I am assuming at the beginning that they are true, to show that they're true. There is a subtle distinction here, so you've got to be wary. Think Ghostbusters, don't cross the streams, okay? So don't crisscross and work with both sides like that, okay? So really, what I want to do is start with one of the sides and get myself to the other side. Now, the suggestion over which side to start with, start with the most complicated looking side. That's the general rule of thumb here, OK? So I wouldn't start with sine x cos x. There's not much I can do with that. But there is stuff I could do with tan x over 1 plus tan squared. So if I start with the left-hand side, I'm going to write left-hand side equals tan x over 1 plus tan squared. I'm going to make sure that I've written that left-hand side so that it tells the examiner precisely what I'm doing, precisely where I'm starting. Now, I know that there's an identity that has 1 plus tan squared in it. Let's just quickly remind ourselves, starting with sine squared plus cos squared is 1. I can divide through by cos squared to get tan squared plus 1 is sec squared. So I can replace the denominator here with sec squared. At this point, it would be a good idea to turn everything into sines and coses. Okay? Only use this method if it is absolutely necessary. There's nothing more I can do here, so I'm going to go in and say, well, tan is sine over cos, and sec squared is 1 over cos squared. Now, I've got the numerator here, divided by a fraction, so that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. 
So dividing by 1 over cos squared is the same as multiplying by cos squared over 1. Now we're going to get a cos x there and a cos x there cancelling, leaving me with sin x times cos x. And that's the right-hand side. OK? And so that has shown that the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side, and so the original uh, statement is true.